What's going on YouTube? Gios now right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the uncovered jailbreak and of course we have great news for those of you who are running the A12 devices that of course being the iPhone XS, XS Max or XR. As you probably remember yesterday Pound to Own posted this picture of Syria in here running on an A12 device. This was the first update he posted on Twitter about the jailbreak in a long time. Actually a week or two if I remember well. So yeah he posted this in here a Syria screenshot running on an A12 device but today he posted something even more important, the fact that they successfully got tweaks running on A12. He said quote, successfully installed some tweaks from Nepeta Dev's repo and verified they work just fine on my A12 device that's running the upcoming version of the uncovered jailbreak with full-fledged A12 support for iOS 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.4. Pre-production tests are going good so far. So as you can see at this point the uncover is done, they do have the A12 support done, they're just testing it to ensure that there is no bug that has sneaked through the uh, initial testing so that there is no unexpected boot loop or something like that along the line but really the jailbreak is currently done and it can be released after the testing so just a couple more days before we can have tweaks on a12 devices and the a12 devices will finally have the same kind of jailbreak like the other devices so definitely nice he tested it with tweaks from Nepeta, who is basically a very good developer in our community of tweaks and their tweaks are actually very very good and most of them are quite sophisticated so they usually take a pretty good tweak injection in order to make them work because they do hook in a lot of things they do complicated things like graphics and so on to change volume HODs and notifications and stuff like that so they're not easy or simple tweaks and if they work any tweak that is coded properly would so this is actually quite nice and we also have some good news about pound owns method of doing this you probably know that he could have gone with a PAC brute forcing in order to bypass it but that's actually a problem since PAC brute forcing has been patched in iOS 13 which would have made updating the uncover impossible when an iOS 13 TFP0 exploit is out. This is actually the method Coolstar wants to use for his private Chimera that he wants to build and keep for himself for some reason but pound to own used a completely different method and today he replied to Jake saying that the uh, PAC brute forcing is basically done as of iOS 13 and he said quote for what it's worth this is one of the reasons why I never considered brute forcing PAC and went to great lengths to achieve the same thing without it iOS 13's updated PAC implementation makes my PAC workaround more challenging than before but it absolutely doesn't patch it so once an iOS 13 TFP0 kernel exploit is out it will be difficult to update the uncover in order to work with that PAC implementation from iOS 13 but it's not impossible if Pawn used the uh, PAC brute forcing it would have never been possible to update it for iOS 13 so that was quite an inspired move in there for those of you who do not know iOS 12.4.1 is still signed for the moment and if you're running iOS 13 I would definitely go to 12.4.1 because there is an upcoming kernel exploit that will allow jailbreaking in a couple of months so definitely stay there and for those of you who are running the iOS 12.4 12.2, 12.1.3 and 12.1.4, a jailbreak is finally coming for you in a couple of days and they have successfully got tweaks running. Thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I am Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.